quick guide, anti-aliasing off gives the best performance. FXAA offers good performance but rough smoothing. SMAA provides decent performance while looking better, and MSAA or SSAA will likely perform poorly, but it will look great. Throughout my ongoing battle with the settings menu, no option causes me greater pain and discomfort than the dreaded anti-aliasing setting. Responsible for smoothing out jagged edges, this setting is a major cornerstone for stabilizing game performance and providing a more lifelike image. To demonstrate its effect, look at my Minecraft sword with anti-aliasing off. And now, look at it with 8 times SMAAT2X to the square root of pi divided by 4. That was just a joke. But with all these weirdly labelled settings, it's far from funny how confusing this can be. A TV or monitor uses tiny pixels of light to display every image you see on screen. Even now, this video that you're looking at is really just thousands of very small differently coloured flashing lights. So to show you an image of a line for example, what your screen will have to do is light up hundreds of these tiny little squares. In a straight line, there are no signs of aliasing. However, if we were to draw that line at a 45 degree angle, due to the nature of how we're plotting that line with these square pixels, it's not really perfectly straight. What it's actually doing is building a staircase-like shape to maintain the illusion of being a straight line. This becomes much more pronounced as we zoom into it and get a closer look at what's going on. In a video game, you'll see loads of these staircase-like lines on screen that make up your image. And as you move through a 3D environment, these lines will start contorting in all sorts of ways to try and retain your sense of perspective. The jagged edges mentioned before occur on every little step along those lines, and what anti-aliasing does is blur those steps to make it look more like a slope. To the naked eye, this is a pretty effective way of creating a more lifelike image, with the only downside really being the loss of image quality caused by blurring those pesky jagged edges. To this end, companies have developed various techniques to try and create sophisticated algorithms that are capable of identifying and fixing these edges. Fuck you. <laughs> oh, don't you laugh at me. Yeah. Now you're dead. You're very dead. What you gonna do now, loser? Oh, no, oh no, shit! No. Which they've labelled in probably the most autistic ways possible. Let's start with FXAA. Now what do you suppose that stands for? Fast Approximate Anti-Aliasing. Don't know why the X means approximate. What do you think TAA stands for? That's Temporal Anti-Aliasing. But what about SMAA? Well, <laughs> that's Subpixel Morphological Anti-Aliasing. And then MSAA, which is the exact same as the last one, but with just the two first letters switched around? Well, don't get them confused, that's multi-sample anti-aliasing. Alright, last one. What's SMAA4X? Well, that's subpixel morphological anti-aliasing plus multi-sample anti-aliasing times two plus temporal anti-aliasing times two. Yup. As confusing as that may be, just start from the top of this list and work your way down, and you'll go from the worst image quality but with the best performance, to the best looking image with the worst performance. Generally, these are the more common forms of anti-aliasing, and while there are others that I could talk about, understanding everything up until this point means that you're now pretty capable of experimenting and finding out what setting works best for you. Some worthy footnotes, occasionally, in game menus TAA is swapped for just the word temporal, and also sometimes you'll see combination anti-aliasing, like FXAA plus TAA, which applies multiple anti-aliasing techniques simultaneously. 